Hi everyone, Quids here. In this Inkscape tutorial video, we'll be taking a look at predefined shapes. So starting with rectangles, or you can use the shortcut here, which is F4. It's as simple as that, click and drag. Or you could use the integer ratios on there. And at the bottom of the screen, it shows you constraints and ratio 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, etc. Or you could down to, to square ratio 1 to 1. Or we could start with a center point, so hold down shift and it stretches out. You can also hold down control with that and create integer, integer ratios from a cent central point. So there we are. Now we'll take a look at the editing paths. So choose that tool, also F2, click the rectangle, zoom in, and you get these handle points in the corner. So if you move them, you get a rounded rectangle. There. You can move them to a different shape. In fact, you can make that an ellipse. Alright. Or we could also well, use the Select and Transform Objects tool. That's F1. You can resize it. Hold down control if you want to maintain its ratio. We can rotate and skew, so you click it again. And use these arrows. We'll rotate. And click it once if you just want to resize it again from there. Anyway, let's try a couple of examples. So first off, you have to make it a 3D cube. So let's put straight corners on there. So put both handles back to the uppermost corner. I think we'll have a bit of colouring on this. So in the fill and stroke box, that's Control Shift F to get there. So let's have a what should we have? Blue stroke with a fill of yeah something like that yeah so we take a copy of that so control c and control v and up here we want snap to cusp nodes yeah i see at the bottom corner to corner let's just resize that so that's q Yeah, something like that. And get another one. Now that's a bit more tricky to get it in the right shape. It can be done. Okay, let's just skip through this bit where I was resizing and skewing the shape into place. It only took about a minute or so, but you know, you'll get the idea. Let's get the stroke styles the same size. Oh, hang on. You have to click each shape to get these right. So stroke size three. Uh, sorry, two. That should be. And two. Right, so let's change the fill color first. Just to make it look a bit more like a cube. So make the top one lighter, then the side one darker. Yeah. There's a cube. Now let's group them together, so to do that you could either highlight them all or select each one individually so hold down control shift and then click and then group them together so the shortcut for that is control and G now when they're grouped you can resize the whole lot let's create a Tetris shape let's do that Highlight it though, well, sorry, just highlight it. And control C, Control V, Control V. And there we go, there's a Tetris shape. So we could do another one. Oh dear, so this hasn't gone right. 
The reason for that is the Z order, as mentioned here. You can use page up, page down, home and end to get them in the right place. So page up and page down, move it along the Z order, home and end, take it to the extreme, top or bottom. So there we are. There's a couple of texture shapes. Another example I'll show you is using the partial transparency and overlapping them. I'll create another rectangle. This time I'll have oh, green colour, the alpha colour, to make it about yeah, half. Yeah. Uh, take the stroke off and I'll put a bit of rounded edging on this. Take a few copies of those. So I highlight them all. Press Ctrl C to take a copy. But this time I'll click it again and rotate them. I'll paste again and then rotate this lot the other way. Then when I overlap them, nice little effect. So anyway, that concludes the look at rectangles on Inkscape. So please, thumbs up and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments box below. Right, I'll see you later.